everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is on the top sunscreen questions that I get asked most frequently. Now I just did a video that I put out last week on my epic search for an all mineral based sunscreen that actually could be worn on its own, could be worn under makeup, and um, that looked great and had adequate sun protection. And that one brought up all the same questions over again. So I'm going to answer those questions one at a time and we will see if I can satisfy some of these things. The problem is that some of them are not 100% definitively answerable, but I thought for those I'll at least try to offer a solution, and for the ones that are answerable I will provide you with the links to where I find um, reasonable information. Okay, so I'll put the links to the information uh, in the information bar below the videos. Let's get started with question number one. Do I really need to wear sunscreen every day? And if so, why? For me, I think yes, obviously. I wear sunscreen every day. I recommend wearing sunscreen every day to everybody of every age, no matter how young you are or how old you are. You're never too old to start, and the younger you start, the better. And here's the reason. In years past, we didn't realize how much damage the sun was doing to our skin, okay? We just thought that we got a sunburn and it hurt and that was the problem. But now, fast forward, you know, 40 years and the scientists are actually finding definitive links between uh, sunshine, which is comprised of ultraviolet radiation, okay? UV rays. What this UV radiation can do over the course of a lifetime is not only cause um, skin aging, but it can also cause skin uh, DNA damage, which results in skin cancers. There are two kinds of rays that actually get to the earth and hit our bodies and affect our skin. There's UVA and there's UVB. So UVB is what caused the burn. And that's the one that they also thought caused the skin cancer before. But now they found out that both kind of rays really contribute to skin cancer but that um, UVA rays contribute much more to skin's aging and wrinkling because the UVA rays are longer and they penetrate deeper into your skin, so past the um, epidermis down into the deeper layers. And that's why it's more dangerous because those are the more dangerous cancers. And where there was never a causal link before, in the last couple of years scientists have actually done studies, mainly in Australia, on people who use sunscreen and people who didn't and what they discovered was a 50 percent decrease in skin cancers among the people who use sunscreen every day. If you can easily avoid getting a certain type of cancer by just putting on a cream every day, wouldn't you do that? I sure would and so that's why I recommend it to everybody. So the other difference between the UVA and UVB rays is that the UVB rays are weaker different times of day and different times of the year. So they're weaker in winter, they're stronger in summer. They're weaker in the morning and in the evening, they're stronger at midday. The SPF ratings on sunscreen doesn't cover UVA. No one was concerned about UVA A before here in the United States. So the SPF number on your sunscreen is really for the UVB, the burning rays. UVA are the ones that are longer, they penetrate deeper into your skin. They're the same intensity whether it is high noon or five o'clock in the evening, whether it is August or December. And the thing is that they come right through clouds, so a cloudy day is no protection. They come right through windows, so being in your house is no protection. And even a hat, if you wear a hat but you're out on the water, they'll bounce back up off the water and get to you that way. So it's really important to wear a high enough SPF and or PA++ protection uh, that will protect you from those rays. As you can see, I'm very passionate about this. I never was before, and now that I'm doing this research and finding things out, I am becoming very passionate about it. So I want to get the message out there. But that's long enough on number one. Let's move on to question number two. What is the difference between physical or mineral sunscreen versus chemical? And you know, it's all kind of in the words because basically everything is a chemical, so calling one chemical and the other not chemical is weird because even minerals are chemicals. You know, we're all made up of chemicals. Chemical is not a bad word. But these are the terms that are the acceptable use, so I'm going to go with it. There is mineral 
slash physical on the one hand, and of that there are only two sunscreens that fall into that category, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So those are actual minerals that come from the earth and are used in sunscreens. And then the other things are man-made combinations of things that are put together and those are called chemical. The difference is that with chemical sunscreens they have to be absorbed into your skin and then the way they work is they absorb the sun's rays. As they absorb more and more rays, it kind of uses up their effectiveness. So the longer you wear it, the more rays they absorb, the less effective they become over time. With the mineral sunscreens, you put them on and they set up a barrier on the surface of the skin. They're not necessarily absorbed into your skin and they bounce the rays off. That's why they call it physical. So it's more like a physical barrier so that you're not absorbing the rays. So one doesn't necessarily work better than others. They can be used in combination. So you can find a sunscreen that has both physical and chemical. You can find ones that have all chemicals. Each of the individual chemicals doesn't block the whole spectrum. So usually if you're looking at a chemical sunscreen, you'll see four different chemicals listed. Chemical versus mineral, to me, I don't care which one you use as long as you pick one and use it. So that's it for physical versus chemical. So on to question number three, which is, do I really need to reapply my sunscreen every two hours? And um, you know, I would never say, no, don't apply your sunscreen every two hours because this is the recommendation that the FDA came up with and it's really for your own safety. So we don't know exactly how long each sunscreen lasts on the skin. It's all very subjective. It depends on how much sun you're getting, how much sunscreen you put on, uh, what kind of skin you have. You know, it's, it's, there's no way to tell. So they pick this two hour mark as what would generally keep most people protected and how often they would need to apply it. So I'm not going to argue with that and say no, don't apply it every two hours. I'm going to say yes, definitely try if you can to apply your sunscreen every two hours, especially if you're out in full sun. With the chemical sunscreens where the more sun it absorbs, the less effective it is, definitely reapply every two hours. If you are out in the sun and there's no shade and you don't have a hat and you can't get out of the sun after sweating or after going in water. If you're in the house and you're in a shady spot or you're under a tree, then you know, maybe not. Um, it all depends on what kind of conditions you have. With the physical sunscreens or the mineral sunscreens, I've read some research that says that they last on the skin longer. What I like to do is to use a much higher sunscreen level, like an SPF 50 plus, uh, and then I'm hoping that that will last on my skin longer. And the fourth question is, well, how do I do that? If I have on makeup, how do I reapply sunscreen every two hours because it's going to ruin my makeup? And I've got a couple of solutions for you. So I did find one product that could really help and it's not the only one. There are other ones. This is the one that I bought. This is a powder sunscreen and this is a mineral based sunscreen. This one is called Color Science Sun Forgettable Water Resistant to 80 Minutes Powder Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And here's what it looks like. Sorry, the puppy got at this and chewed it. so. My lip is, my lip, my lid is broken. Anyway, it comes with a brush that's retractable and basically this little vial is filled with the sunscreen. And um, when you go to replace it, you don't have to buy the whole thing, you just buy a replacement for this. So basically, the brush comes out, you need to kind of get it started. So what I'll usually do is, with the lid on, I just tap it a few times to get some of the powder to go into the brush and then it has sunscreen in it. So poof, can you see that? Ooh, that's awesome. So you could apply this over liquid. So especially if you're outdoors at your kid's soccer game, you know, you weren't, um, you forgot your hat or whatever, it's late in the afternoon, the sun is right in your face, you need protection from those UVA rays. So this is a great option. So I just take that and it's nice matte powder. Just spread it all over my face. The only problem with it is I can't tell how well I'm applying it or how heavily. But I figure in a pinch, it is better than nothing. So let me just put that on. It really sets up nicely. It looks great because it's got a little bit of a skin tone to it. 
It's nice and mattifying, which you know I love a matte finish. So isn't that a great product? I know Peter Thomas Roth has one. There are a couple of other brands, but this is the one that I purchased. It had good reviews, and so I keep this in my purse for if I get stuck at my kids' lacrosse game and the sun, like I said, is right in my face and I don't have a hat. I usually have a hat. The other solution is to wear a hat. Um, and then the third solution to that, which I was thinking of, is to use a CC cream or BB cream that has high protection and a, and a tint. And that way, if you don't powder over it and you just have that on, then you can just go ahead and reapply one of these products. And two of them that I really like are the It's CC Plus Cream, which is an SPF 50. This is an all-mineral sunscreen, and it is a really great formula. I use this all the time, especially in the summer, because I can reapply every couple of hours. So take a look at that. That is, offers beautiful coverage. That blends right into the skin. It's really great for older skin. It looks terrific on wrinkles. Um, it stays in place. Uh, it's got a little bit of a um, grapefruity scent, but the SPF 50 is terrific. And then here's one from um, Pure. This is their CC Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Color Complexion Correction and this one is in light. And this is another one that is an all mineral uh, based sunscreen. This is a bit thicker and stiffer of a cream, but it goes on nicely. I like the It better, but I wanted to offer a couple of different choices. I had this one, I tested it a while ago. I really don't use it that much because I didn't love it, but hey, I know a lot of people like the Pure um, brand and that this could work great for you. They also have a BB cream that I think People like better than this actually but this is the one that I have so these are things that you could easily apply every two hours and then all you need is your um, maybe a stick blush or something or one of those combo blush lip gloss things to redo your blush over the top and then you should be good to go and of course I always like to hear from you guys if you have any great solutions on how to reapply your sunscreen every two hours when you're wearing makeup um, that would be great please uh, include your uh, suggestions in the comments below the video and as I said in the beginning if you want to go ahead and read any of the um, linked articles or research that I found this information that's all in the information bar below the video all right so that's it for today everybody thanks so much for your time I as you could tell I find this to be a really important topic. I, as I said, am really passionate about it, but if I can get even one person to start using sunscreen today and protecting their skin so that they can avoid some skin cancer surgeries or even a wrinkle or two in the future, then I have fulfilled my purpose for today. As I said in the beginning, it is never too late to start. I hope that you start using sunscreen every day if you haven't so far and that if you do, then good for you for taking the first step in protecting your skin. So as always, everybody, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.